Hi, this is your King Ginger. Um, this is Down Mountains, and uh, I want to jump in because I think things might get a little weird tonight. What? Um, so I would like to have everybody introduce themselves, um, their character, and what they remember about the last thing that occurred uh, last episode, please. So let's start with our ringer. All right, I'm Nate, your D&D ringer. I am playing uh, Twig Swift Strike. Otter can rogue. And uh, what I remember last time is that uh, there were some uh, little stone puppies hiding behind me because they bit Akko. Bad dogs. Indeed. Real bad dogs. <laughs> you thought Akko was the bad dog in this show. No, he's not a bad dog. He's a, he's a good boy. He's best boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump next to our resident TikTok expert. <laughs> am i though um i'm shannon townsend I you're, am but you're our resident tiktok expert I, I mean, that's valid that's valid um i'm shannon townsend i'm playing charity momar she's a human artificer and uh chaos goblin child from hell and uh the, what i remember is everybody had really fun glowy symbols on their bodies except for Akko. It didn't work. It didn't work real good. And uh, that is doing charity a concern. Uh, let's go to said lone. <laughs> lone. Lone. Lone wolf. But you're not really a lone hyena person? Yeah, lone hyena person. <laughs> that works. Uh, yeah, on, on Hero Forge, they call it giggle dogs. But let's not use that. Uh, I'm Warrior. I play Echo. He is a Knoll fighter. Uh, last time, um, everything was fine. <laughs> he uh, had been bitten by one of the basilisks. Uh, his birthmark didn't work right. Uh, and then he uh, sort of lunged himself outside, uh, fell down when light started pouring out of his chest. A bunch of cops gathered around, and he's turning to stone. Is that... Is that all of it? Oh, also, uh, the minor holy war he may have started is still brewing down the street. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew rust monster mites could cause a holy war? But he's yeah. got he's got three hit points left. He's good. Last but not least, the I'm, love of Cassandra. Oh, hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm playing Amulet Sticky Fingers, um, Tender Barbarian. Nice mix. Um, and you know, it's all been summed up. I just remember the there was chaos down the road before we left. We went and saw this weird lady that we had to be blindfolded for. She touched my leg. Okay. And you know, the you know thing I had since I was little was there, but but now yeah, Akko seems to be in trouble. You also look like a telemarketer for time life books. <laughs> Like you're gonna call me and want to sell me like an encyclopedia set. From this is it's, this it's, is his formal uniform. It is. You look great, but I'm just saying. All of a sudden, that popped in my head. Hello, it's an I'm Deborah with Time Life Books. It kind of looks like this is our King of the Hill crossover. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to picture the four of you like leaning against the wall in like a uh, yep. like the Breakfast Club poses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't. Okay, wait. But my question is, if this is our King of the Hill crossover, <laughs> who has the pocket sand ability? Like, I need to oh, know. No. I hope it's me. Because like oh, this God. came up the other day, and somebody was like, "What would the stats on that be?" And I was like, um, "It requires a Constitution saving throw, and if you, <laughs> if you fail, you take like two d10 damage." I feel like any of the three of you could have pockets in. I feel like pockets Charity would Charity totally just pockets. Charlie would have Charity would have totally just like invented pockets in. No, I and then. Like, Twig might have it. He's a rogue. You she know. would try to like throw pocket sand at you, but she would like pull out like a freaking anvil or something. <laughs> it would be bad. It would not be what she intended. Caustic See, pocket sand. The yeah. two, of you, two of you are definitely maybes for pocket stand, sand, and one is a definitely has pocket sand. An amulet could have picked up pocket sand anywhere and put it in her pocket. I mean, got a lot of pockets. I can't guarantee I know what's in all of them. Yeah, at any point, you can just be like, ooh, sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
last I know where to put this. <laughs> last time when we um wrapped up down mountains, um Akko was um on all fours. Uh his leg was beginning to scale and a burning bright light began to emanate from where his birthmark at the same time um uncle tawny was went from a demeanor of what you could probably best describe as disappointment to very outward exuberant excited um as akko begins to um, giggle in discomfort. Um, Brylan Scale, who was helping his fellow Harmonium officers try to deal with the chaos over at Moloch's heart, sees that someone he considers family was injured and begins to run over. Um, where is everyone at, else at right now? Uh, we're still inside. I'm making my way towards outside if Akko's hollering. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Charity went after him when he slipped out. Did. Yeah, that's what I thought. So she's probably outside she, freaking out. You're a step ahead, the rest of us. Yeah. So, Charity, as this is all occurring, which is just chaos, because I, I believe you went out when um, Uncle Tani went out. Um, you're standing there kind of in between them. There's a person you don't know dressed like the the harmonium coming your way in a hurry and ostensibly your brother is on the ground cackling in discomfort um since you're outside i also want you to make a perception check akko you can make me one at disadvantage and i get to add my perception bonus at zero sweet uh 10 uh, that's going to be a four. <laughs> so you're very wrapped up in all of this going on. And Akko, of course, um, with this searing pain in your chest, um, you feel a hand on the back of your neck um, pulling you close and um, telling you it's all, it's going to be okay. You recognize that voice as Brylands, um, Charity, this this man in a harmonium uniform is now like basically not on top of Akko, but definitely like head to head with him and kind of pulling him up. And you visibly notice that Tawny's demeanor has changed from kind of this exuberant, like, let's see what happens, um, like, let this happen to very stiff. And very, um, he actually straightens his coat and he looks directly at the officer. Twig, you and Amulet come out very quickly after that and kind of see the scene playing itself out. Um, I, I'll say that Echo would instinctively snarl when the hand is placed on his neck, but if he sees that it's Brylin, he'll calm down fairly quickly. Uh, it, um, so you first you kind of snarl and then you get a good look and, and again you you see who it is and you see that there's definitely like a uh, a serious concern here um, make me a, a, a perception check as well and this one you can make at advantage because you're so close it's worse than the one I did at disadvantage <laughs> eight um, you feel a strange kind of charge uh, when he's touching you, it doesn't feel painful. It doesn't feel, it feels just very odd. Um, it's very much um, some type of field that, that seems to be interacting with you. Um, and so as this is going on, Charity, you can make me an Arcana check, please. Okay. Twig, as you and Amulet come out, um, Ta Mr. Tani keeps you behind him. 
The 16. Um, you notice that like the energy that's seeping off of Akko um, is actually hitting this kind of soft blue, very small field that seems to be around this person's body. Um, and in fact, that field seems to be creeping over Akko um, and keeping that energy slightly contained. Do I get the gist that it's like it's a good thing or am I perceiving it as like a negative? You haven't seen anything like it before, so you're not sure, but it's definitely seems to be rather than seeing Akko just um, expand energy wise, you know, because it was starting to get to that point, like he was um, not going nuclear, but, you know, he was definitely... <laughs> Um, ex his energy field was expanding in a negative fashion. Instead, hey, up piece. And instead, you see um, that shrinking down um, and being like held inside that energy field. Okay. Twig, twig and amulet, make me a perception check, please. What's going on? I can't see. <laughs> 18. I got a four. Twig, you see that they're like there's still chaos going on in front of the the recruitment office slash church. Um and there's still like that's going on and it's a madhouse over there. Um but you seem to catch there's a person who's walking right down the middle of Lonely Street, um, and they seem to be carrying something. Um, and they're heading like right to where you guys are. What did they look like? Uh, they seem like they're dressed like a, a normal individual would be dressed that you've seen so far. Um, they have a, a shaved head that seems to be tattooed. Um, their clothes are like various shades of red. Um, but they just seem there's an intent of purpose where they're walking to where you um, all are, are at during this moment. And what exactly are they carrying? It looks to be some sort of box, like a, a, a wrapped gift almost. Oh no. What? What? What happened? What? So, Akko, you can feel like this is all that energy now is, rather than kind of seeping out of you, is now actually kind of focused around not just you, but you can see it getting on Brylan as well. Like it's this um, sparkly golden and red light um, that moves like waves, almost like it's um, a very interesting cross between um light and liquid and your chest is are your 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 um your birthmark is still just it's searing hot like it, you know it's not burning you but it feels like it is um and he just keeps like he's chanting something and you're not sure what it is and at that point all four of you hear uncle tawny's We'll say dad voice for the first time and you hear him say i would appreciate it if you would get your hands off of my son and brylan stands up and he kind of helps akko to his feet um who akko you're still kind of leaning on him and you notice like this is just like now stuck between you but it's not leaking out any further and he says, well, none of these young people are your son or daughter. And you see Tawny give a big sigh and he says, I'm sure you don't see yourself as, as my son nor family any longer either. How disappointing you remain. Brylan kind of stands up and for a moment, Akko, you can feel his focus come off of you and that field seems to kind of 
lesson and go back towards him. And he says, he looks and he, his focus is like staying on you and caring for you also has shifted over to Tani. And he says, well, as a sworn in harmonium officer, I don't, I don't see a reason for me to associate with known criminals. Maybe I can't prove it, but I know who and what you are. Maybe I can't say it, but you know that eventually you'll get found out. And then he kind of turns back to Akko and Tani harumphs a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Brylin, always a failure. Always wanting to do what he feels best. Did you do what was best for Yiglin? Man, that's what this is really about. It's not about me or how you were raised. It's about your failings, your continued failings, and the loss of one of your own. You couldn't defend her, so now I'm guilty. We're all guilty of your failure, and now you would interpose yourself in my relationship with my new son. Give me back my boy. So Brylan starts to pull his weapon out. Echo. Tries to stop him, like to grab his hand, like his wrist. When you do that, like you feel that that shield kind of come back over you a little bit, and you can see him kind of like he snaps out of it, his intense focus, and he. No. Oh. That's a that's an issue to be gone over at another time. I think we can at least agree upon that. He's like, at this moment we have to, and before he can finish his sentence, you hear a, um. Is this a, is this a, a bad time? I have a, I have a delivery. <clears throat> the individual in red with the tattoos walks up holding the box. This is, uh, this is a little bit out of my depth here, but I have a delivery for a Officer Brylin Scale. And he turns and looks and he says, you're right. This is a really bad time. Look, sir. Uh, I don't have time to wait around for this. I'm just going to give it to you. All right? He's like, well, put it on the ground. He goes, I was instructed and paid to put it in your hands. He walks over, and he stands right in front of where you are, between where you and Tawny are. And he looks at Tawny and kind of looks him up and down and looks at the other three of you and leans down to Charity, and he says, I'm really sorry about this, but it is for best. Hands Brian in the box, smiles and says, Portlish sends his regards. I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw as a giant fireball erupts out of the box. Oh, great. Great. Oh, that's a dirty 20. Uh, Dex save, 21. It's an eight. Got a 10. <laughs> Although it doesn't really matter what I rolled. I have three life. <laughs> if, you, if you fail, <laughs> you take 45 points of damage. If you succeed, you take half. Um, okay, Echo is dead. Oh, uh, yeah. As this goes <laughs> off, all four of your symbols light up. You see the burst. And you see some of the rabble over in, over in front of the heart get hit with the blast. You see this man smiling as he is literally disintegrating in front of you. Um, you see... Tawny bamps. He's gone. 
Um, he like looks a surprised look and he actually just disappears. Uh, you all see death. And then you wake up. Your sig your your symbols all on you still glowing. You've all also leveled to second level now. Um Hey. Hey. I mean that's if we breathe again, because I think we're all dead. Yeah. No, but... you are not dead. We see oh. death and we're like, hey death, and then we're like, peace out. See ya. <laughs> You actually felt like you were dying. Like all your, the, your, your, your strands of life and fate were literally being snipped in front of you. Um, and then your symbols all go off and you find yourselves on the husk of a very strange thing floating in the middle of space. And by space, I mean, not like stars, but just like this odd multicolored, like the outside of it looks like if you spill oil on top of water in the sun and how it greens and yellows and blues, and it's just moving. You can see large rocks floating out there in the distance. Um, and you're floating in something that's in pieces and you're standing on a broken piece of it. There's a large hole um, where you can look out of uh, laying beside you, Akko, is um, Brylan Scale, and his field has retreated back to himself, but he looks hurt, like looks badly hurt. You all, though, are fine. You didn't lose any hit points. Your marks continue to glow for a little while, and then they start to simmer down yours especially echo but it's still there and it's very all of yours are now slightly glowing with a color that suits who you are so i'll let you figure that out on your own and they can let me know like a and think about it in the fact of like a a soft fluorescent color so it's always got a glow to it a mild ambient glow like it um wait so so sorry so we're we're seeing ourselves in this no you're, pieces place we're back you're that was back. just what we saw yeah okay. you see the explosion oh, and that's a good question I'll, I'll explain even further you see as this explosion hits all four of you your uh, your birthmarks like literally glow as you're disintegrating in fire um, and rip open what looks to be space time itself and you basically bamf out. Um, the only reason Brylin is with you, Akko, is because you had a hold of him. Hmm. Um, and you're there and when you arrive, I mean, like your your clothes are still slightly smoldering, so you have to kind of pat them out a little bit. Um, Charity, you can make me a Arcana check. The okay. rest of you can as well at disadvantage, please. Uh, Sixteen. Five. Four. 14. Um, Twig, your tribe would tell stories sometimes about um, different places, not part of Mistara, but like spaces between. Um, you've heard elders talk about being able to walk between worlds and dreams and things like that. You're starting to wonder if this isn't something like that. Charity, in your reading, um, you're pretty sure this is the Astral Sea. Ooh. And you're not there in astral form. You're there physically right now. Okay. That's, um, <laughs> that, that's not, ooh. <laughs> okay. 
What? <laughs> The, <laughs> the thing that you're inside of is very oddly built. Um, it's not made of wood. It's not made of any metal or any stone you've ever seen. It's um, almost chitness. It's smooth and it's in spots and it's, it's very much almost biological looking. Um, but it's definitely not working. Um, you look outside and you can see that there's things that looks like almost like the tendrils of some type of um, underwater creature in the front of it, but there's the, this looks to be massive. Um, and it's been severely damaged. And when you look up, you realize you're in some type of circular shell that's been cracked. Not even cracked. It's got a hole in it. A hole in the hole of the circular shell. Okay. Echo, weird turtle. Echo, please um, make me a perception check. If you get any bonuses based on smell, I would like that as well. Same thing with you. Let me see, let me see if I do. Um, amulet. And Charity, while, while they're kind of like just trying to figure this out, you also, you're seeing that like this, this place is um, lit ambiently with like glowing fungus. Um, and all of this, like you don't see anything that looks remotely like you've seen before. This is definitely, like I said, it's, looks to have been made of something and by something i mean not anything inorganic um but you like i said you you you're standing like literally where something blew a hole in the hole oh god it's so mm, mm. amla just stops and goes what happened to the street okay um street's not here Pretty sure we're somewhere in the astral plane, but I don't think we're supposed to be in the astral plane because that doesn't really make any sense. So I don't really understand how that works. Also, the entire concept of the astral plane is kind of malarkey to me, but you know, I know it kind of exists, but I know it kind of doesn't exist. It's like this weird balance. Anyway, I don't know. I want to know what blew that massive hole in there. I want to know why there's big tentacle things. I'm like, hey, where are we? And how do we get home? Because this is real boned up. <laughs> uh, What she said. That's a lot of questions. Did you either one of you have uh, Akko and Twig? Did either one of you have an ability based upon your senses? No, not smell. Okay, I'll let you make a perception check then, and yeah, I'll give you both a plus one based upon the fact that we're both anthropomorphized individuals, probably with the sense of smell better than most. Sixteen, seventeen. Okay, sure. both of you. <laughs> Both of you smell it. There is a smell of burning salt. Sulfur. It does smell like sulfur, but it smells like if you've ever been around someone who's overcooked seafood. Gross. Not overboiled. I mean overcooked. <laughs> But it's just ling it's lingering like it's an old smell. And from the outside, there's just these beautiful forms of light moving in the distance that give you enough to look out just kind of in awe of what you're seeing. I mean, you're seeing large land masses moving as well. I mean, it's like you're floating into nothingness. Does this look like reminiscent of when we were taken away, like in that space between before we got to Sigil? You can all make me a history check. Excellent. Mm. Nine. That goes like, I don't quite remember when we were taken. I don't remember what was going on. 
That's going to be an 18. It was like oh, seven nice. years ago in dog days. What'd yeah, you get? 12. 12? Amulet? Eight. You're really killing it tonight. My dice hate me tonight. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I had one jump ship and it's laying on the floor over there and they're mad, mm -hmm. but they're not happy. Make an example of it. <laughs> gonna have to soon. Nah. Next one's going on the floor soon. Amulet's just distracted. Um, Twig, this does have some slight um, feeling of deja vu. Like you, you do feel like you've been here before, which doesn't make any sense to you. Charity, you have been here before. Um, okay. The ships, the ship that the Nyoga had you on, this is where their ship was attacked and you were moved on to um, Captain Norhan's ship. Gotcha. Do I see anything outside that looks reminiscent of the battle, like, or anything? No. This, okay. But this isn't that ship either. This isn't the ship that you right. were on. Um, this is, seems to be some derelict floating in the nothingness. This is giving me Nautilus vibes, and I do not <laughs> like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that smile either, sir. Um, shit. Do you, um, do you want to? Ex I mean, and by the way, does someone want to do a medical check, a medicine check on Officer Scale? I mean, I would try, but it's, okay. well, it's not great at medicine either. Five. <laughs> He's I can hurt. try. He's I can bad. try. It's like I don't know the human body. <laughs> I, I know. An I got an eleven. Okay, you're able to to stabilize him reasonably well, but you do know, without some form of medicine, he is probably going to die. Probably in the next few days. Probably very horribly. Like just because he's so. Injured and burned, or be okay. It seems as if whatever thing that is around him, it both absorbed most of the brunt of the explosion, but not all of it. And also, Echo, you noticed that a lot of internal damage was done on the side where you were on. So you almost wonder if him traveling with you shouldn't have been something he could do. Hold on a second. Are there stars out there? No. It's the astral sea. Damn it. So like in the sense that like it's a it would have been worse if he didn't come along though. You don't know. I mean okay. you really you really don't know. I mean you all, you Real all, have, you have an intrinsic feeling that that sh that that whatever it is that shield, um, helped you. But in the, in term of being sucked through space time, did not help him. So when you say astral sea, are we like, in on a sea, or are we in space? Okay. It's, <laughs> The astral plane is kind of a nebulous concept. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know that's what I'm trying to get a get a little feel on it. So, I know it's a little weird, but um, would you consider us sailing or floating? Currently, you're floating, floating. but you think okay. that's more to do with um the thing you're in, not having any type of propulsion. Okay, no, that's fine. I was just was curious. It kind of leads me down to some things I can or cannot do. So. Yeah. Is there any way I can figure out what direction is home or help maybe get our bearings? No. Damn it. So I'm going to quickly share a screen with you so Cassandra so Cassandra can get an idea what I'm talking about. No, it's, it's fine. I just was wondering if I could use my sailing background. So that's what I was trying to figure out. Um, so this right here is the astral sea, just so. It's fine. Level two now, guys. <laughs> so, what could you there? use your could you use your sailing? Yeah, you could. Okay. Um, as far as operating a boat, figuring out the direction, no. 
but if you can get this thing repaired, you're you're pretty sure you can make it go once you figure out how it works. Well, wh while boat. sailing, I get advantage on all checks while on a boat. You're not sailing currently. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I was trying to figure out. <laughs> you're 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 de you're derelict right yeah. now. You're derelicting. Sure. You. Echo like looks at Charity like fix Brelin hurt bad. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. Who? Okay, one, one thing at a time. Um. I use a lot of magic today. <laughs> not not really much I can do because we haven't had a long rest or anything, nope. right? Yeah. She she's literally like she's done everything she can do. Unfortunately. Um. um I don't know how to fix. I know, I know. Not every single problem can be fixed right away. Okay, um, the, the sibling thing, we got to have a conversation about at some point, but like maybe not right now. Because um, <laughs> like, that's really weird. I, okay, he's real hurt and jacked up. This thing is super hooey manure and giving me the heebie-jeebies and I don't really like it. Uh, out there, it's real wonky. I'm pretty sure we're where we were kidnapped in the first place, and we're just kind of floating around all malarkey like. I don't really like it. Um, okay, okay. First things first. I think, um, hmm, I think we might need to get off of this thing. I don't really like it. It's weird. Also, like, I really don't, I don't trust anything that has like that many legs. And she just like points out the window. Like, have you ever seen like a centipede? They're creepy, they're gross. They're gross. They're like nature's monster. They have too many legs. This thing has too many legs. I don't like it. You don't like it. We don't like it. We gotta go. Okay. Okay. Great. So it beats so, delicious. So, so technically, no legs. <laughs> it looks like it has right. about ten tentacles coming out of the front of it. Um, and I hate you so much. <laughs> and probably had more at some point. I don't like this. Shannon doesn't like this at all. Oh my god. Um, happy, happy Halloween episode? I hate you so much right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't you do this to us. Um, smells well, like dinner. <laughs> it does. You know what, Twig? It does smell like it smells like muscles that you would crack on your smooth, smooth belly. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you took a nap and they baked in the sun while you nap gross <laughs> and can i dig around in that bag that anon gave me and see if he left anything in there that could help us <gasps> oh you can dig around in there shoulder deep i don't know if there's anything in well it's like it's like a bag of holding so <laughs> just I imagine, imagine it's <laughs> just true that just gave me an idea I feel like it's a Mary Poppins bag, so. <laughs> Charity pulls out her notebook and the quill from Anon. And she starts writing a message. And she writes, Hey, yo, BFF, XOXOXO. Miss you lots. Kind of stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Could absolutely use your help. Big, ugly ship. Lots of tentacles. Pretty sure we may die, LOL. Probably going to be fine. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Charity. P.S. You still smell like butt. <laughs> I didn't know he smelled like butt, but I, I appreciate you telling me that. Now. <laughs> she remembers. Is, is he it, said. Is, they is said. It, is it non here? Because I smell butt. I smell butt. I'm just saying you kind of smell like butt. Um, no, I. she remembers Anon saying that anything Charity wrote with the quill, they would see. Read. Yeah. They would be able to read. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, one second. Huh, I can't find what I'm looking for. Uh, so you still haven't found what you're looking for? <laughs> Oh God! It's been a minute. There's, there's, there's nothing yeah. in the bag. Maybe let. Okay, it was worth looking. I haven't examined it yet, so. Um. Uh, can Echo roll on his possibility table? 
Yes, very much so. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. That was a one. Ooh. It's been a day of good choices, so. <laughs> um, Akko, you, you see your Echo walking further into the ship. Uh, everyone else sees Echo's head turn suddenly and he just wanders off without saying anything. Where are you going? I knew things. Get off ship. This way. I think we should follow him. <laughs> Can can Braylon move? No, he's unconscious. <sighs> well, I guess I know we know where he is, so <laughs> yeah, but I mean, come back. Okay, but I mean here and I like that and I like that one bit. He's like, I mean, okay, first off, he's kinda like he's what, like a guard or something, right? Like I don't really <laughs> Brother, understand it. He's not. I mean, I don't mm. like us. Came house. Tony, take in like us. Yeah, I mean, kind of family. But he doesn't like live with us. He's not like a part of the whole thing. He doesn't in like. Uncle Tony was real, like, ooh, he was real. Did you see his tail got real poofy? Something bad happened. No. Can't say. No, I know. I heard the whole combo. I mean, like, mm. also, did it kind of sound like Uncle Tony was, like, pawning that off? Because, like, listen, all I know is that Professor Atlas Every single time I had to work with him, he always told me that there were two sides to every single story. And even though I would say that something wasn't my fault, sometimes when I said it wasn't my fault, it was totally my fault. And it's not like I meant to be bad or like blow up an entire wing of the library. I mean, sometimes crap just happens, right? It's not my fault. I didn't make a mistake, but like sometimes other people say I make a mistake and he was always like, blah, blah, blah. Outcome is more important than intention. Blah, 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 whatever. I had a train of thought. I don't remember where the hell it was going. Anyway, I don't know if we should leave him because I think he might die. Oh, it has like left. <laughs> he is following. He just like took off watching He's just like, like, he is just kind of like, <laughs> she she like as she's rambling she turns around she's like he might die and then I really like god damn it someone should follow him right yeah all right I guess I'll go okay so Twig you follow after um I'm assuming you're gonna jog to catch up with Akko who's yeah, we're, we're like boys in the side quest <laughs> <laughs> You can have that inspiration you've been crazy. <laughs> um, you move and these tunnels there it's it's this ship is like very tunnely, let's put it that way. Um, and some of the tunnels seem to go up, but they're at such an angle you think that it would be virtually impossible for someone walking to get up them. So you're not exactly sure how you're supposed to go up them. Um, they're the, yeah, everything's metal or not metal. It's, every, all, all, it's like this hard chitness material. Um, as you move further, you think you're moving towards the front of the ship. Um, because you seem to be staying on a, a linear path. And rather than going up any further or left or right, you seem to be going straight forward. Eventually you come to, and you see some offshoot tunnels there. Um, some of them look like they've been taking heavy damage. Some of them, there's a, um, a strange 
sort of integrated shell that looks like some type of door that's shut. But as you move towards the front, I would like you to both make me a perception check. Sixteen. Eighteen. The silence is ominous. It's almost as if the sound has just been pulled right out of this area. But the thing you notice that's really strange is there's junk everywhere in this. And when you do reach this, this front forward cabin where you can see out to the front of the ship and see those tentacles that are kind of wound together in a very strange point. Um, and you can see the damage, like the actual, um, you would assume would be glass or some type of clear material has actually been blown out. You don't know anybody flew this thing because there's no wheel, there's no controls. It's just a lot of long, sinewy, almost like black vines with strange apparatuses at the end that look like some of them fit together and then entwine. Um, but you find a couple backpacks, you find a broken bow, an amazing looking bow, some arrows, um, I'd like you both to make me a percentage check with a plus one with your smell. And by the way, you guys can just keep that on your sheets so that you both have a plus one to scent based searches. Uh, 17. You said percentage roll, right? No, no, uh, perception. Perception, okay. I would not give you a plus one to a percentage roll. I'm not that. I'm not that big a dick. <laughs> I, heard, I heard it and I was like, that's seems Plus mean. one to your percentage roll, sir. Um, I 101. Got I got a natural one. No. So Twig, you're more excited about the fact that you see um, some armor in the corner that looks like it actually could fit you. Um, Akko, you smell something and you follow your nose and you find what looks to be some type of strange skeleton um, in like robes, like it never got out of these robes, it died that way. And someone has broken the skull and been pooping in the skull. And it's not human. It definitely smells dragon, oh, not, dragon not like in nature. Okay. No, no, no. That's why you were like, like you were like, that smells funny. It smells like um, dragon shit someone turned this, yeah, someone turned this uh, <laughs> creature skull into a toilet. Um, and wow, that's a weird smell. Um, I'm, as, I'm assuming you've been uh, around like dragonborn and different mm -hmm. drakes and things like that. Yeah. It smells like something similar to that, but not quite. It's a dragonborn ish. Okay. Uh, no, draconic in nature is what. You okay, mean. draconic in nature. We'll go. Um, Twig, when you're over there by that dwarven armor, you see something carved into the wall. Like someone took, someone was really bored and took some type of knife. In fact, you find a couple knife blades that are broke and carved something in dwarvish into the side where their, this armor was left. I don't speak Dwarvish, so I, I can't read that. I don't, I don't think I do. I might. Nope. Um, Echo is going to um, like rubbage through the robes. And um, while he does that, he's, he's staying going away to, from the poop. He's going to be like, yeah, he's going to be like, he'll like sort of like yell back to, uh, to Twig. He'll be like, you think tree weird? Look what dragon do. <laughs> while you guys are doing that back in the by where the hole in the shell hole is try saying that real fast um, 
Amulet and Charity, you're seeing like Bryland's chest is very slow, rising and falling. Um, I want you both to make me a perception check, please. That's a five. Oh, my first good roll tonight. <laughs> 19. Oh, feels Charity, better. Charity, you're very like <laughs> focused at looking at him and all like the different stuff he has on because he's, even with the burns, his uniform is tattered on one side but not on the other and there's like a lot of like little symbols um and like look like merits like attached to his uniform he's carrying a sword but he's also carrying what looks to be some type like a like a baton almost um and he's got a bunch of little pouches on his belt um as you're kind of like looking at that and thinking well do i help myself to further study or do I, and you're also kind of like looking out into the astral sea is very, um, it's slightly unnerving, but at the same time, it's really beautiful. Um, it, it's kind of breathtaking that you can see so far into this like very strange vista. Amulet, you hear something from down another tunnel, like something, fell and then you hear footballs the same tunnel that twig and echo went down different tunnel is it on like the opposite side of the room type of situation yeah you'd have to go across the expanse of this room this room has a, a, a six kind of tunnel passageways going out of it this looks to be like a a hold of some type in fact in the center of this which you, you just noticed now is two large circular they look like wells but there's nothing in them. They look at one time they were about um, four foot tall by a 10 foot diameter. Um, and that they probably housed something, some type, they look like they held liquid of some type at one time or another. Those, those better be empty. I'm disturbed because Cassandra knows, but Amulet doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, All of us are like, <laughs> yeah. Our character's oh, like, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, character's like, mm, maybe I should touch that. No. Um she's gonna uh, Amulet's gonna look at Charity and go, Shh, I hear something. And then she's gonna walk over to the tunnel, weapon drawn, just kind of like looking, waiting for something to happen. Okay. You um you don't see anything i mean it just goes kind of dark it looks like the moss and like lichen ish um phosphorescent material has been removed because it usually runs across the floor and up um probably about or not across the floor but like where the these are like rounded off passageways and it usually comes up about a foot on each side um and it looks to be like and like little pockets in between this shell, um, even because even the passageways look like a very organic shell. Um, and it looks like something has pulled them out. Okay, well, I'm gonna hold up here just to make sure nothing comes through unless I hear something else from another tunnel, but let's kind of kind of hang out over here. Okay. Ready. While she does that, uh, Charity is going to send another note to Anon. This is going to be a theme until he shows up. Uh, this one is going to have a little chibi, ver like crappily drawn version of the ship, right? From what she can gather. And like a little chibi version of her going, huh? And a question mark. <laughs> and then like <laughs> way off in the distance, like on the corner, it'll be like, you are here. And it'll have like a really like grumpy looking version of Anon like next to it. And then just like floating crap around it. <laughs> She's like trying to draw him a map and failing miserably. <laughs> back on the bridge. <laughs> back meanwhile. on the bridge. Yeah, meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. So, Twig, what what are you doing then? You can't read this dwarvish. Um, there's some it looks to be again dwarvish armor of mate. Um, that just has been left here. Is there anything in the armor? No, it just looks like someone left it. Does it look nicer than my armor? This looks like it's 
it's very good armor, but it's definitely been used. Like this has seen some some fighting. This has seen some beat some beat downs. All right. Also, make me a um make me a, a make me an insight check. Uh, natural twenty. Oh, this is also definitely worn by um, someone of the. This is obviously was um, built for someone who is a little larger in the chest than you. So they worked out. All right. I'm sure they worked out too. (laughs) Akko, can you read this carving on the wall? No. (laughs) <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I go quick, quick. So, <laughs> oh no. no. Uh, busy. Um, it. So wait. So he can smell this draconic shit. Does that mean it is relatively recently put there, or no? It's definitely. Um, I can't remember the word for calcified poop anymore. Uh, Coprolite. Coprolite, that's right, because I used to have some dinosaur coprolite when I was okay. a kid. Um, anyway, um, it's not know. quite that old, but mm-hmm. it's definitely... It's been there. It's been there a while, but it has a very distinct um, smell. And like I said, the more you like sniff it, the more you also can make me another perception check. This time at advantage. Oh, an advantage. Natural 20. This also smells of fey. Like in a way that like, it's been like, uh, everyone's been using that skull as a toilet or no. like- <laughs> No, whatever this, whatever this um, dragon relative was, it was also fey in nature. And because of whatever it was eating, definitely was not from the prime material plane. Weird. Um, do you find anything in the robes? You find skeleton parts, and when you get <laughs> through them, you start to notice that, oh, this skull wasn't cracked afterwards. This skull was hewn in half and then turned into a poop bowl. Um, also, one half of it, the entire rib cage was caved in by something. And you notice that whatever caved it in also burnt the, a hole in the robes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they'll go over, satisfied now with his efforts, he'll go over and look at his poop investigation. Twig's stupid writing. <laughs> do either one of you want to look in these backpacks either? Oh, yeah. I, I do want to do that. I just, you know. Okay, there, there's two of them there. Um, one is set beside a very fine looking quiver, a broken bow, and a set of arrows. And the other is, looks a lot rougher, <laughs> a lot dirtier. It also has a couple holes in it. Um, like it's been through a lot of smashing and um, they both have some things in them. Um, Echo will look at the nicer, better backpack, because obviously. <laughs> Also smells very much of Fey. Um, you look inside it and you find some crumbs of some type of, of like and I'm, when I'm saying crumbs, I mean like actually some leftover chunks of some type of bread, which is still good. And it still smells amazing. You find what looks to be some type of ledger book. Um, and you find a scroll. Twig, I'm sure you're looking in the other backpack. Oh, yeah. Okay. You find um, a necklace with what looks like um, a chicken's set, like a chicken's foot on it, but you're not sure because it also looks really weird um, and almost spider like. Uh, you find a helmet that's really dinged up. Looks like it needs some serious repair. 
and you find also a tiny book um, that has, it's all written in Dwarvish, but it looks like someone has written it in it and then crossed it out, written in it and then crossed it out. Like the same, like, <sighs> hold on, let me count. Nine letters in different orders over and over and over again, like they were trying to figure something out. So like deciphering that like all work and no play may shack and <laughs> no not like uh, that okay um can it... also in there you find a also in there you find a um a, a stein is it empty uh when you look inside of it it looks empty and then you when you close the lid it feels full And if I open it up again, it's still empty. Oh no, it's it's full. Oh, what is it full of? Um, man, this really smells like you should not be drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, into the backpack that goes. If you take, do you want to taste it? Uh, a little bit. Make me a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, 17. It starts off a little bitter, and then you get punched in the mouth by a beautiful sweetness of honey. And then the soft burn at the end as you swallow that down, and you notice that you're like, wow, I feel... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Like I probably couldn't drink a lot of this. <laughs> oh, that's because I'm tiny. Oh boy. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Oh, me uh, big. And in more. the back of the book, uh, on the inside cover of the book, Twig is a drawing of what looks to be like a cog, and it's the you look at it like a cog and shapes around it. The harder you look at it, the more it's like the cog looks like a building and the shapes, it looks like a really rudimentary map leading to a like huge tour. Okay. Is that something I've seen before? No, it okay. is not. But it looks to be some type of map. If I look at the uh, ledger book, is it, is there anything in it? It's all in Elvish. No, but it looks to be some type of accounting book. Because the numbers, you can kind of tell what they are. It looks like someone was keeping a, a tally. I can't read. You, you read. Like, shoves the bucket. Twig. I don't know what that says. <laughs> So while you two are looking at uh, learning to read because it's <laughs> fundamental. Um, I can read, just not this language. Yeah. <laughs> Amulet, as you're kind of standing guard in this hallway, you see a shadow about your size scoot at the, by the next intersection and scuttle by. Um. Yeah, I think she's the type that would go. I see you. Tracks. Anything happen? No, it just moves on. Ah, uh, I'm real tough and mean. If you come close, I, I, I will stop you. That sounds super convincing. Keep doing that. Um. <laughs> That's exactly how she is, too. She's like, <laughs> as, you know, mean as a 10-year-old Kendra can look. <laughs> While she's yelling down the hallway at whatever ominous being is down there, uh, Charity's going to check 
his pouches and see if maybe there's any kind of potion or something she can give him. Like specifically, she's going to look for really anything, um, but she wants to see if she can use anything to like stabilize him or just make him less of a concern for the moment. Um, roll me a d6, please. A d6. Classic. Oh, a six. So you start with the pouch furthest away from, like, furthest away you can reach without rolling them over. Um, I would like you to, uh, are you going to check them before you open them, or are you just going to, is Trader just going to be like, hey, let's check this out? Oh, the pouch? Like, no, nah, yeah. she's she just going on in. She don't care. Make a deck save. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. Um, that is a, it's a 14. You get, take one point of electrical damage. Awesome. You get shocked real hard. Zippity zap. Better than coffee. <laughs> Beans and taters. She, she, like, <laughs> she opens it and you just turn the back. I'm like, yeah, this is the best day ever. <laughs> So it opens for you, and inside there are like it's dark, but when you reach in, um, you pull out what looks to be a set of of cuffs, and then you reach in, and there's another set of cuffs. And there's about six in there, um, and they're not like manacles you've seen. These look very refined. They look um, they do look magical in nature as well. Um, but there appears to be six sets in there. Cool. Wondering if he'd miss one. <laughs> well, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Put that's on the table. So, Amulet, you don't hear an answer from whatever um, ran by. A few minutes later, you hear a noise. And you, when you, when you heard the first noise and then you saw this thing scoot by, it was relatively quiet. It almost sounded like someone who was wearing padded boots. This sounds like something with talons clicking off this chitness ground. And it's slowly click, 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 headed through, headed towards the where the you can see that mouth of the tunnel. Oh boy, Charity! <laughs> yep, that's my name. Looking into pouches. Something's coming. Oh no. I mean, I mean, I'm ready, but just so you know, so you're ready too. <laughs> She's ready. She's prepared. She, she, she's not going down the tunnel. She's not going to leave Charity alone, but she's ready. Okay. Um, so you see a form and it looks like in the shadow it kind of looks like some type of quadrupedal animal. But one of the legs is not there. So it's when it's click, 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 it's because it's limping on three legs. And as it moves, it's kind of bulbous shape across. It seems to stop and turn at you. When you were yelling, it seems like it's identified that you're there. And it's just sitting there in the dark. All you can see is the shape of it just looming. Who, who, who are you? When you say that, it takes another couple click a click, click a click, limping steps forward very, very determinedly, but also 
it's like it's it, like it hurts to walk mm -hmm. but also in a fashion where it's moving um cautiously but it's that... determined to move towards you right now because you know it's you're you're hollering you're hollering i'm gonna back up um i'm gonna stand in front of the door but i'm gonna be like a good six feet from the door it makes its way up to where the darkness basically begins and you see it kind of set on its haunches and it appears to be missing one of its front legs because of the way it kind of awkwardly sets But it just sits there looking and you, well you're assuming is facing forward and looking at you but you can't again it's just a shape in the darkness show yourself doesn't step forward at all just stays right there just out of the light Um, <laughs> back in the good, ba back in the uh, cockpit. What are you two doing? What, uh, what's the armor made out of? The one that looks like it would fit me. Um, it looks like it's made of leather. Um, and it's been reinforced with mithril. Oh, fancy. It's 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 rustic but ornate. And not ornate, just the word ornate. Not not like four name. Yeah. Um would that fit in this you, backpack? Would, um not unless it's a like a backpack of holding it's too big it's it, okay. the other thing you realize it's it's, it's have this is heavy armor this is heavy like okay. so whatever was wearing this was incredibly strong that's not me so i'm gonna leave it there um i will take the rest of the stuff that's in the in the backpack though echo's gonna stuff all the stuff that's left in hit the nicer backpack and then he'll let's like, you want and like gesture toward the armor that'll carry easy no that's that's too heavy for me i don't think i could wear it i'm not strong enough um mm -hmm. before we go um if i look at the symbols on the wall that are carved there and the symbols in the book i'm assuming are those the same symbols uh no no but they're all in dwarvish okay um how much how much is like is it a long message is it a is it like a set of symbols that someone could remember yeah yeah okay you would have to make me an intelligence um check but yeah, great would... <laughs> <laughs> along with the book that's here um is, there's not any writing utensil at all there is that's a good question there is can I scribble down those symbols? <laughs> there, appears, there appears to be in this bag numerous sets of broken writing materials. <sighs> well, they're all broken. Nothing is uh um, there's your hands are small enough that okay. with a nub you could you could draw this in the book. Could right, write wanna... With poop. <laughs> you could you could try uh, to write with that perhaps. with that poop as well. Pretty hard. You'd have to rehydrate it a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> hard pass you do so, have a mug of ale a stein of ale <laughs> so gross so the gross. whole next episode twig's just like Drink no <laughs> now now i need to make a wisdom safe <laughs> um, uh, i will okay. i will scribble the uh symbols that are on the wall yeah. into this book i will try to remember them without writing them down uh i will add my intelligence bonus of negative one for a 14. Um, you think you can remember most of it. Okay. Does, I mean, it's not overly complex. It's just series of like rhythms. Mm -hmm. So you're like, I, yeah, I don't think I can remember. <laughs> okay. 
and anything else you two want to do in the cockpit? So, so we saw all the stuff. We've gone through all the stuff. Um, there's no controls. There's no except for these weird. There's these weird black vines hanging from the ceiling with stuff on them. You also notice that to the right of what appears to be where these vines look like they meet together, and there's what looks like some very odd panel that there is also a smaller version of the empty well structure you you found in the hold you, you fell into. Um, and that's empty too, right? It is bone dry. Okay, good. That's just for me. <laughs> the only thing in it, in the bottom, is what looks to be the dust of bones. Okay. Mm. Good. I, yes. Also smells real bad. Dude. Got all stuff. Go. Let's go back. Fine. Tell. We'll go back. Okay. You head back. And as you're making your way back, Charity, you can hear Amulet, you know, kind of hollering. Um, and that she's moved all the way back. Um, and you can see her kind of peering down the hallway and kind of going, show yourself. She's across the room from you. Um, Amulet, I would like you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. That, that was the last game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let's right. see here. Ooh, 13? Ooh. I got a plus zero. Unless you say unless you think we're sailing. Oh no, that's that's a save, not a no. check. <laughs> that's for safe. Tried, I tried. <laughs> um FYI, FYI, I am fearless and I cannot be frightened, if that makes a difference. No. Yeah. It's a, Kendra, it's a Kendra thing, so. You're not frightened. Okay. So, as you're standing there, this thing limps out of the darkness. And it looks like a very fat cat with three legs. But it clicks? It clicks. Still clicks. I mean, it might just have really long murder beans. So is it furry or is it shell-like? Um, the fur is very patchy. Okay. It and just... it moves again towards you in that very deliberate click-click, click-click. Click, click. Hi. I wave at it. Click, click. Click, click. Is it still approaching? Click, click. Yes, it is. Do I get in any kind of sense that it's aggressive in any way? Yeah. Are you going over there? Yeah, she's going to stand up and kind of like slowly make her way over. Um, when you get there, um, I would like you to make me a perception check. Okay. Does it look mean? It just doesn't. It's very just flat. 17? It's not a cat. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm sure you guys talked and Amy Lett's like, look at that cat. And you're like, Oh shit, <laughs> that's a brain on three legs. Yeah. Amulet, you see a cat. A cat. That's, the, that's not a cat. That's a cat. That's a fugly cat. That's a cat. It's got fur on it. No, Can't you see not, it? No, that's you not. You see a an cat. ugly cat. Charity does not see ugly cat. That's not, that is not, that's not an ugly cat. I've seen some ugly cats in my time. Girl, that is not a cat. I mean, it's ugly, but it's not a cat. 
Maybe it's hungry. I'm going to take the less of that sandwich I have left and throw it at it. <laughs> do it. Tame it. So, Make it ours. So do you, Amulet. <laughs> the cat looks down, looks at the food, and then looks up. Click, click. Click, click. Charity, for you, you see it doesn't look, that brain does not look down. It just stomps on the sandwich and keeps moving forward. I don't think it likes ham. Okay, I don't I don't know if I can like anyone Tanya who doesn't like a <laughs> I can't like anyone who doesn't like a sandwich. Like why did you eat the sandwich? Click click. Click click. I don't think it wants a sandwich. I don't Okay, 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 okay buddy, you need to back up. Kitty cat back up. Stops about five feet away and just not stops. it's not a cat. I keep telling you it's not a cat. What do cats look like where you're from? Sorry, look at it. It's a cat. It's not a cat. It's like the furthest thing from a cat. You're comparing <laughs> apples to bedposts. If she keeps telling me it's not a cat, do I see that it's not a cat or do I still see a cat? I'm still convinced it's a cat. She's going to like, so, kind of like edge up to it really carefully no. and just like. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like you, you see a cat opening its mouth like it's about to meow. Yeah. You see this strange energy start to wave off of the cat, and you both get attacked. Oh, hell no! Nah. So, charity 11 to hit, and amulet 10 to hit. I rolled real bad. Not for me. Did I get nope. you, charity? You both felt um like something reached out and tried to hurt you in a way that's not physical um you felt like thought your thought process become extremely muddled like you couldn't connect dots like things were falling apart like if your brain is a house of cards someone starts flipping those cards out from underneath you Luckily, you're both your mental wherewithal kept it from happening, though. But you both feel like something happened. Okay, this is not nice, kitty. I don't like it. It's mean. And so I flip my hoop pack around and I try no, to you, poke. No, you don't. Why not? You're, because instead, Why not? you're going to roll me a D8. No. Oh, no. No, this is oh, bad. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I've rolled an eight. One nay. Okay. You turn around and you start to whirl that hoop pack around because you're gonna attack that cat over there that's directly behind you. It's not a cat. <laughs> so roll your attack. There's one behind me? I just think there's one behind me. I don't know. Is there one behind you? I don't, that's why I was asking you. You're the it's, DM. It's Schrodinger's <laughs> three-legged cat. Of course I rolled okay on that, too. I got a 17. As Twig and Akko walk into the room, um, Amulet uh, attacks. So I need you both to make deck saves. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, 19. 25. 25. You, uh, um, Twig, Twig, you like literally do this sweet, like, back handspring out of the way. Akko, you just like sidestep and kind of head turn, like, what the f are you doing? Easy. Amulet, <laughs> Amulet, now there's two cats and you missed both of them. Where are the mean kitties coming from? Yo, they're not. <laughs> you can make me a whiz saving throw now, Amulet. Okay. Fingers crossed. <gasps> I crit it. Nice. <laughs> so, like, you shake it off. You shake it off, and those cats... Crit. <laughs> and those cats form back into your brothers, Akko and Twig. And our charity, you're standing face-to-face -face with this thing. Oh, sorry, guys. Amulet just sorry. turned around and attacked. Sorry. Well, look be open space but actually turned out to be your two brothers sorry didn't mean to what fuck 
There was a Why? there there was a no. there was a creepy kitty. There was a creepy kitty. It went away though. Charity, Green. you're you're staring. Um, you have to get past Amulet to get to where they are. Charity standing in front of this hallway. Charity, what would you like to do? Sense, like you said very clearly, we could sense it was trying to hurt us, right? Something was trying to hurt you. You're assuming it came from that. Can I do any Which, kind of check to, to? You can make me an insight check. That would be for sure. dope. Uh, that's going to be a 19. Yes, very much so. This was this thing tried to hurt you. Shocking freaking grasp on the <laughs> ugly not cat. <laughs> you, you gonna, are you going to reach forward and touch it? Yeah. Oh no. I know. That but wasn't, that wasn't like a, it. that wasn't a like she, smart move there. So. She would. Okay. Here's the thing about Charity Momart. Oh no, it's great. It's just oh. the smile from the DM. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. She's going to try and just like poke it. Hey. He's like, I want to touch the butt, but I can't find the butt. I want to touch thing. the butt. She did a lot of butt touching. <laughs> What'd you get? Would help if I rolled, huh? <laughs> Usually does. <laughs> Only if you really want to. Shut up, I'm pretty. Um, oh, fuck. That's gonna be a seven. That's real bad. That is a miss. Nope. <laughs> we are now an in initiative. Oh. We're gonna on creepy I, non cat. I have a question because this hasn't ever happened to me before. Yeah, um, of so we gained a level, which means we get hit points. Do we get those hit points now, or are yeah, we you still can have, at... You can have your okay. hit points now. Okay. Oh, so we can level right now? Yeah, if did. you want. Yeah. Thanks to DD Beyond. Hey, DD Beyond. Well, I was gonna say, yeah. I still I, book it. So. <laughs> it was I really easy. Already. I like my paper. I mean, I think I, Crackle. I don't get much. I don't think so. It's fine. I will feel better about fight with more than three hit points. Fair. Valid. You did take mass max hit points at first level. It was just that you lost, mm -hmm. them. and then we lost. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I have advantage on deck saving throws. After I should, <laughs> I should have leveled myself <laughs> when you said it. I rolled max hit points this level too. I'm going oh. an eight. I'm going an eighteen. So when oh, I, I should roll initiative. Seventeen. Uh, uh, thirteen. I also have a seventeen. Six. Um, who's got the better dex bonus or higher initiative bonus? Probably not me. I have a two. Uh, two. it's higher than mine. Oh, you're fine. Um, I guess me first then. Or be first within the seventeens. Yeah, there's someone higher than me. You get first crack at the not cat. The, not cat. the really ugly not cat. Now that I know it's not a cat, I feel better what, about hitting what it. Did you Echo and Twig? What'd you get? Uh, Thirteen. Six. <clears throat> Rolled a two. All right, it's in the chat. All right. So let's see here. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> you are in danger. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to look this up real quick. God damn it. Those are never words. As a DM, those are never words I want to hear another DM say. Nope, you should not. Does no. the brain monster know cure wounds? I think it would cast cure wounds on everybody. Yeah, it's going to be fine. <laughs> this is going to be just a great big picnic. All right. So. It's, since you tried to touch it, it will return that favor, Charity. Oh, yay. Oh, no. Gross. <laughs> yeah. You weird hentai crap to yourself. <laughs> with its, like, rears it back up on its two weird, gross things. Rah! Talon legs and tries to touch you with its one leg still attached. Yes. Um, does a 13 hit? 
It does. Ooh, that's oh. real bad. Yep. That's that's not good at all. I'm going to die today. I'm going to die. Oh. I hope Anon can read my map. <laughs> <laughs> Anon, send help. Uh, I rolled real bad. Okay. You take nine points of damage on a 5d10. 5d10? Brother. A, two. Oh, I know. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't mean you run, again, run up against level two things. I know. <laughs> um, you are struck by a touch of necrotic energy that ripples through you and debilitates you horribly. And that's its turn. You know, that's not its turn. It'll also move backwards um, 10 feet. It'll limp backwards 10 feet. Awesome. Um, Amulet, you're up. Okie dokie. Well, now it's, it, it wasn't a kitty. I was hoping for a kitty. And I could see it hurt my friend. And so I'm real mad. And she doesn't get very mad very often. So I'm going to turn my hoop back around to the pointy end. And I'm going to yell real loud. And I'm going to get a little lightheaded when I do it. But I'm going to run across the room. I'm going to rage. And I'm going to stab it. That's what I'm going to do for 19 to hit yeah yes like a kebab makes me very happy i'll buy you a kebab four 11 points of damage wow so you skewer this thing hardcore um it and hurt it was, my friend you notice uh -huh. like when you come up on it it's it's cover like the now that you can see it like the brain that makes up its body it's got lesions and scars on it and you can see where something literally pulled off one of those legs um because it's while it's gone there's like old sinew there from the damage and when you stab it there's like this blackish purple ooze that starts to seep out of not just that wound but it looks like another wound that was close to where the stab mark was and you know if you stab that kitty you would expect a yelp here there's nothing it's just dead silence he was just trying to pretend to be a kitty and i don't like pretend kitties so fair few of us like pretend kitties that's why i hit it for max damage I just rolled really well too. So ghost kitties, I'm okay with. <laughs> Pretend kitties, no. Mm -mm -mm. We don't need no imposter kitties. Oh. All right, that brings us to charity. Charity amulet just ran by you and, and in a blind screaming <gasps> had that thing real bad. Um Okay, she's going to back up slightly. Oh, God, I can't. It's still... Hang on, i got to read something. That sucks so bad. No, it's fine. Um, she is going to use Magic Stone. This is one of the reasons that she always has her stupid belt with, the po with like the deep pockets, her little apron. Because it's just full of all sorts of dumb crap. She's going to reach in there and pull out three stones and use magic stone, which is touch. Uh, so she can now use them to make a ranged spell attack with the pebbles, or she can hurl it with a sling. So she can just throw it. Uh, so she's going to back up to give a little bit of distance. I, I honestly would advise if you have proficiency with a sling, I'd use the sling because 
you'll get a better attack score because of the proficiency. Gotcha. Rather than an improv improvised weapon. Sure. Let me let me check something. Also, later on, you could be like, "I want to train on throwing rocks," and we can figure that out. So you're proficient in rock throwing. Well, no, because the whole concept is if she takes two turns, she has catapult. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she just wants to charge those bad boys. You could charge them and then get to where it can't see you. Yeah, that's kind of the goal. So she's gonna she's gonna charge them and then move the hell out of the way, and that with the intention of using catapult with the pebbles the next round. Oh, you're gonna go up and try to like go behind, or what? I don't, when you say charge, I don't what. Oh, you're charging the stone. You're she's charging up the okay. stone. Yeah, she's just using the spell so that the stones are magically charged. And then stepping away. And then from getting the, the hell away okay. so that the next turn she can use catapult to do some damage. And get the hell away from Icky Not Cat. <laughs> Icky Not Cat. Akko, you're up. And Akko sees the weird brain thing, not a kitty. Yeah. It doesn't you matter. He'd attack it anyway. Yeah, like, yeah. kitty, die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Akko is going to, uh, yeah, he's going to uh, charge at it in the more traditional sense and uh, take a big swing at it with his battle axe. That is uh, an 18 to hit. That hits. It is going to be a lot of damage. Uh, it's uh, 12 slashing oh. damage. You slice into it, and you are going for the front leg, and you don't aim perfectly, so instead... You shear off a bottom section of the brain that just like <laughs> plops to the ground, twitches and moves, and then lies there. And this thing just sh undulates in what you assume is pain. Twig, you're up. All right. How far away am I from that? Is it more than 25 you're, feet? No, you're within 10 feet. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to move up to it. I will draw my rapier and attack it. Ooh, 25 to hit. Jeez. Jeez. Yikes. I rolled a 19. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Damage is 10, and I'm going to sneak attack it since I have at least one friend next to it. Oh, of course, I only rolled a one, so that's 11 damage total. Wow, good hit. Um, Dang, that was a good hit. Good round. I will then um, bonus action disengage and move back nice um uh, well it will take its round to do something you can't see what it is but out of the wound that echo caused the the blackish purple blood seems to coagulate and becomes almost like tiny liquid tentacles and it pulls the chunk of brain off and you can see it just the pieces of that muscly tissue sliding back together um, and healing and leaving a large very new scarred lesion um, where this was done. Hey, Amulet, you're up. I'd, so how about the one the where I poked? Is that healing at all? Um, No, not yet. This is it's healing, but it did nothing else this round. I'm going to try to poke it in the same spot again. I'm still mad. I'm still raging. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't roll as well that time, though. 14. That is a mess. Damn it. Charity, you are up. Okay. She is going to use catapult. Uh, it needs to make a... So, where, to explain to me where these catapults are. Do you, like, have shoulder pad catapults? or well, I, I'm trying to visualize this. I really want to know what this looks like. I like to think she's got... Um, 
She's a resourceful little pain in the ass. One of the reasons she wears those overly large gloves all the time is to kind of hide these, like, I like to think that they're like bracers that just yes. like, she pulls it down and they go, shoo, 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 and she just kind of like, <laughs> like they go. So they're like the D and D version of wrist rockets. Yeah, hundred percent. You're looking to move up to wrist trebuchets at some point, but right now, catapults will do. Yeah, but the design's kind of clunky, and it's harder to get good aim. And like trebuchets are kind of like yeah. wrist, wrist trebuchets was the name of my <laughs> punk band. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. He needs uh, the thing needs to make a deck. This is your King Ginger and the wrist trebuchets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make, make your attacks. Okay. Make a deck saving throw. Oh no! No want. Do want deck saving throw. Um. Will a twelve do? <laughs> Wah, wah. So, and that is with my a uh, plus four dex bonus. Uh, that's gonna be three d eight bludgeoning damage. Roll well. I'm gonna freaking try, my dude. That's a seven. That's well. That's a one. That's not well. That's a five. So all together, thirteen. Yeah. Well, there was a reason I was hoping you would all suck this round. I only had 12 hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I healed. Yes. So your um, wrist catapults bludgeon with tiny pebbles to death this <laughs> intellect devour um, that had obviously seen better days. Um, your pebbles penetrate deep into the brain tissue and splatter it from the inside. Just rocks, just like glowy rocks, just shook. And um, all you hear after she shoots it, she's like, You're not a cat. <laughs> That's your t shirt. Just you with a picture of you going like this, and it says, You're not a cat. <laughs> You're not a cat. Amulet and Akko, please make me deck saving throws. Oh, man. I'm glad I moved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not bad. Not bad. 18. You're good. 19. You're both good. You were able to tumble out of the way and av avoid the brain splatter right. that you know would have stained your outfits. You coat. <laughs> oh no. That means the sandwich is no longer good, isn't it? Sandwich destroyed. It is the, it is the <laughs> worst moral loss you've suffered in this entire battle beyond charity <laughs> taking a bunch of hit points. But what about the sandwiches? <laughs> the sandwich is gone, though. I just, uh, oh, it makes me sad. All of you can make me a perception check. Okay. Four. Echo's like, no one's brain on suit. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Sixteen. I'm really sad about the sandwich. I got a ten. You're also, <laughs> Amulet, you're also like, where? Like, oh, uh, where am I? What are and I are busy matrix dodging brain. You need to sit down a second. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like you're out of breath. You're like Just sit dizzy like, and. Oh. Um, the hot in here. <laughs> Twig, you and Charity see a tiny form at the end of the hallway, like looks like it's peering. It's a. It looks to be about all of your size, except for Akko, who's ginormous. Um, and it appears to be hooded. And it looks to be like peering to look and see what transpired in the fight. And it's just kind of staying there. It's not moving toward us at all. You can see its shape in the darkness. But you think if it was even an iota darker, you would not be able to see it at all. <clears throat> Did you see that down the hall there? She, she's like still kind of holding her, her catapult. <laughs> and I'm on like, like, yo, are you a cat? <laughs> I'm on like one knee and like, oh, I just, what, see what? Uh, I was like, <laughs> yeah, of course. You see, I see. 
except he totally doesn't see it. Yeah. Even though for really, is that a cat or not a cat? Because like, I don't even, I don't even know what cats are anymore. I'm questioning everything. Uh, maybe it's a cat person. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Yo, who you is? <laughs> In a very your purpose. soft and hissing tone, you hear words echo down the hallway. Does anyone here speak Sylvan? Um, <laughs> Warrior's just like, he thinks we're throwing all these languages. I don't speak. Nope, nope. <laughs> Damn, no. Nope. I had like almost every other character I've ever made speak Sylvan. I know. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> it steps forward a little further and in, in broken common, you hear. Are you for deaf? Do you. Or are you for dumb? Um, no keeps walking up a little bit further. Eventually it comes to where the light starts and it reaches down and grabs a handful. You notice that it's got sand. kind of a larger no the yeah, sand. <laughs> it's got kind of a large, very pale skin underneath the hood. All you can see is like the eyes and nose. It's got a large kind of hooked nose and it pulls back a wrap where its mouth is and shoves the lichen in its mouth and you can loudly hear chomp, 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 chomp. And then it pulls the mask back. Stop making so much bloody noise. You'll wake the rest up. Okay, there's like more of those? Well, I, I think so. Don't, <laughs> quote, don't quote me on that. I've only been here. Um, uh, for a day, for a sun, up, sun, down. But look, and he opens a bag, and you can see the light hit. There's just a bunch of, like, there's a bunch of coins in there. Oh, are, are, you, are you come to rob Skitch? What are you sent to rob Skitch? Is this test? He no. stands back and puts his hand on what looks to be a dagger, but it's in the shape of a rapier. Have you come to rob the great skeech? Uh, I've, I've never heard of you. Well, that is because skeech make a name by robbing this derelict ship. How did you get here? Um, accident on the purpose. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Well, I, well, I, mm, I tried rob somewhere else and fall in portal. Different Z's. <laughs> um, do you know how to get out of here? Uh, he looks around. He goes, "Don't you have sheep?" No, man. We're trying. Like to his get eyes are. Donut his eyes are like, "Hey, guys, I can pay for passage." Charity's like, no, nah, man, we're trying to get back to the big donut place. <laughs> Any idea how to get there? Yeah. Big, big donut place. Yeah, like Skitch, big and round. Skitch like donut. I like donuts it's too. But fried, this is not... It's fried dough. Tasty. Now, I mean, like, it's like, a, it looks like a donut. It's a place that we live, but it looks like a big donut. Skitch not familiar with place you speak of. Skitch come from, from, oh, how to explain. Skitch is gaining stripes to work in uh, one, in, in king with one eye's court. He prove metal, make father very, very proud. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Try to rob, um, how you say, uh, pointy ear people. You know, stuck up a nose, they walk all the way. I'm good. I am good. I am best. I am best. Oh, Asimar. Yeah, totally. 
I know I've never called them ass imar before. They are asses, but not ass imar. Is that a human word? I never no, I never hear that word. He's you talking know? about elves. Yes. What's an yes. elf? Ugly halfling know what skits talk about. Hey. Well, you are tall and gangly and breathing very, very loudly. I just, you know, we, we worked real hard to kill that thing. I was just oh, real tired. I'm just tired. No. How you think Skitch been running for life for like one, two, three, five days? You said four. No, no, Skitch say like uh, 10 day, but you just hear four because you n clean poop out of ear. Did you know there is poop on the bridge? Yeah, found it. Someone let fairy dragon poop everywhere. It is all over the place. Smell terrible. Fairy dragon? Yes. Was I think call um pseudo dragon? They little flying uh, meanies. They is mean. Maybe yeah, uh, they just don't like you. Wow, that is rude. Maybe they'll Skitch, like me. It's done nothing to you, ugly halfling girl. And you just hurt Skitch so deep. You cut. You if if you cut, ugly. If you cut, does not Skitch bleed? How close is he? He's like on the edge of the darkness, so he's a good like twenty-five feet away. Oh, okay, never mind. Echo has dark vision, by the way. Yeah. Just. I don't know about everybody else. Boy, that's a real good question. I do not. I, I have dark vision. Yes. Skitch from, skitch from long and dark. Scary place. Not for people like you. You would be, oh, Skitch, I'm so scared. There's so much darkness. And I would be like, Skitch, not scared. Skitch, go raw, pointy eared, assy more, and take all the gourds. That is what Skitch do. And then Skitch proved to one night king. That he is a uh, uh, best thief. Best thief on the old times. What happened, King I? Um, point the ear as as Imar. Uh poke it out. It was evil eye. He poked it out with stick. He still have other eye. He he still have uh, he's still scary. <laughs> what? He's scary. He still he still have other eye though. What eye? Not big, evil eye, but he has other eye. And you know what happened? Skitch saw this. When he Fair seen patch. what his father do, he, he saw other evil king. He tell that, you don't have evil eye. You cannot rule. And he ate him. <laughs> he ate all of him. Bones and everything. In front of everyone. It was horrific. Skitch was like, I need to be on his good side if he have good <sighs> side. Otherwise, Skitch be um, like kebab. Same it's, reasonable. You don't need that. You have his whole animal. I mean, waste not, want not. But Skitch, Skitch, he like, he kind of moves his robes around. Skitch is no eat talking things. It's, it's disgusting. Maybe eat pseudo dragon if found because poop everywhere. Who trains a dragon like that? That is disgusting. That's a, that is a failure of pet ownership. <laughs> Seriously, if you had that, you should not be allowed to have pet. Skitch disappointed. I stepped in some, took 12 days to peel off boot. All I could hear was squeeze, 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 squeeze. I almost got eaten by brain dog because of the squeezing. I thought you were only here five days. Oh, it is like five days your time, but in skitch time is like month. Still dark, but like a month long darkness. You know, look at all the coins skitch have now. Oh, you give ride to skitch out of this, um, how you say, shithole. Um, we don't know how to get out of here. Oh, this is disappointment. All you can see again is like, this part of his face, he goes, this is disappointment face. So disappointed. Yeah, that's super clear. So how, how, how you 
other how do you you as children sketch sketch is adult sketch um sketch 16 moons old large moons not small weak moons sketch stand on inside of a large grove and go oh moon another year older not afraid of Asimar. <clears throat> I mean, I never said I was afraid of them either, but you know, <laughs> potato, potato. Hey, you got a boat? You got a way out of here? No, oh, I thought you had boat. Also, mm -hmm. it's not sea outside. It's spooky darkness. Skitch used to spookiness and darkness, but that is unknown to Skitch and makes him feel heavy weight in back of pants. She's gonna. She's taking out her book and she's writing more notes to Anon, and it's just like a list of things, like things to remember. Dragon poop everywhere. Creepy dude is making us crazy. Also, what, got what attacked is, by a not cat, and she'll draw what is, like what, what it was. What is you right? Skitch must see. It no. is about to be greatness, right? About how great. Skitch yeah, is. it's totally. It's about how awesome you are here. Uh, I'm like, are you? Are you singy person? Are you, um, how you say, scold? Do you tell the stories of good and great peoples? I mean, because I... Because if you are, Skitch would like to hire you to tell of his greatness and what he has done in this very spooky place. I mean, I could probably do Survi that. Surviving in spookiest of places for six months? Six whole months? All six months? See? Yeah, totally. I mean, I, yeah, I could, I could totally write a great story. Here, it'd be, it'd here be dope. for your trouble, he shoots a coin across and he, like right at you, which is surprisingly well aimed. Like you're <laughs> like he's just like, pew. Um, make me a um, history roll. History roll. Oh, excellent. I'm good at that. Twenty-three. Um, you've seen odd coins before. Um, this coin is stamped with the emblem of a just enormous city. Um, and then hold on one second. I have to ask the, the Google. Hey Google, consult the Google machines. What's up, Google? Hey Google. Hey Google. It's got girl. six masked faces around the city. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> my phone's like, let me answer your question for no reason. Creepy. Um, he say, do not spend all in one place. There is more where uh, Skitch come from. Sure. She kind of like turns it over and is looking at it. Where is this from? It is from um, Human slop heap town named Waterdeep? Perhaps heard of it? It's important, apparently, above ground. Waterdeep. And not in Feywild, where the sketch come from. Is it like un an underwater city or something? I've never been there. I just think they're going. Hmm. Sketch, sketch is very, how you say, a new to the job. Gotcha. Um, do you like a cloak and mask and little trico and hat sketch wear? Mom made it for me. Good luck. Yeah. For, for on the location, 52. This guy's like younger for than us. <laughs> 25 moon rises, but not a big moon, smaller moon. It's very proud. Mother is very, very sweet. So, like, I have a question. Oh, I also have a question. How Great. fortuitous. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I can't with this character. Um, so, if you're here in your... Pi okay, you're... She doesn't want to use the word pillaging. You're, you're liberating, expanding... Liberating all things of worth on this crappy derelict ship made from yeah. tentacly faced and brain dogs. Yeah. 
super great. Um, also, there were other people here once because um, Kitsch find uh, dwarvish writing and he also finds some leftover coins in backpack full of stupid um, books written in Sylvan that is nonsensical and dumb. Dear BFF Anon, I owe you an apology for talking way too freaking much. <laughs> please forgive me. Let's have tea when I get home. Also, please hurry up and save us. I may die. <laughs> So, How did you get here? I I told you this. I, I told story. Skitch went to Rob pointy ear ass Imar and yeah. in the process to show King One Eye how great I am and how I should be number one thief and even better than father and Skitch fall through um swirly thing. Swirly and thing. Swirly ghostly thing and it's fall and then land here and then little um uh, tiny brain guy try to eat me and i defeat with my great sword and then i find all the golds but more of the little oh uh, i mean it could be same one that you just murdered i do not know i do she not keep track of them um but sketch find all these uh, shiny coins and junk in front of ship and has been living here for like two months. Two of your human months. I know how long it is. I she do. turns around and looks at the rest of the party as he's like trailing off. And she's like, swirly thing means we're probably looking at some kind of interdimensional portal. This is something I've seen before. I just haven't really figured out how the technology works, but it's something I think if we can find yes, one, I might yes, be able yes, to figure yes, it out. Yes. It is portal. Like, like, like Skitch say, it is portal. It is yep. portal. Why you steal the words? I give you coin and try to make a good friend and try to give you job to do, and you steal me words. Those skits say portal. I no, thought you wanted me to make you sound it. amazing. What's better than your words sounding amazing? Like that's all I'm doing is I'm just trying to make you sound amazing. Ha 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 Right? Yeah. Much yeah. better than mean, ugly halfling girl. With with terrible breath. You should eat more garlic onion. Take take the the burn right out of your ha ah, ah, ha so tired ah, I can be smalled from miles away because my breath's so bad. Hey, do you? I put a rock in the sling and I hit him in the foot. He looks at you and he goes, "Oh, Gitch, Gitch, not appreciate your your violence and provocation." Stop being a meanie. I would remember this for like a day, and then I forget because. Skitch, remember more important things. And you, giant dog person, you're so quiet. Can you speak? Yeah, ask about King earlier. Oh, you I forgot. Answer. I forgot. So your question's silly. So I move on. Um, and look at cuddly. Look at cuddly other dog person. Oh, I want to rub your smooth, smooth belly. Now. He just looks up and starts looking at the hole behind you. Uh, uh, do four children much younger than Skitch hear, hear that? Skitch hear something. Hear... Oh. Do you hear? Uh, do we? I don't know. I rolled a 21. <laughs> well, do we hear? <laughs> Let's roll to find out. No. I got 13. <laughs> I don't hear shit. <laughs> I just want a shirt of Echo's facing. No! <laughs> Did anyone get over a 20? 21. You hear a beating of wings. Which is shocking because there doesn't, there's not air. There's nothing to help this travel. It's just this massive beating of wings. And then you all hear a roar. Um, everyone makes me a saving throw versus frightened, except for Amulet. Um, I have advantage against being frightened. Um, what, which save are we making? Um, it's a wisdom save, I believe. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my inspiration. I don't, I don't want a five. 
<laughs> 14. 21. Damn. Yeah. Twig not frightened. 13. Charity and Echo both frightened. Skitch terrified because I rolled a three. Um, a massive red dragon latches on to the bottom of the hole, pushes its wings out and shatters the brittleness of the shell and roars. And the three of you who failed cower in absolute terror. Amulet and Twig, you see someone in silver armor slide off the back, off of the front leg, and land with a clang of boots on to the ship right beside Rylan. She pulls back her helm, and it's a woman with light green skin, her nose very pushed up and angular, little brown spots covering around. She has a massive silver sword on her hip. She leans down over Brylin and she closes his eyes with two fingers and touches him, takes her gauntlet off and touches him. Um, and he seems to breathe a little more steady and you can She's whispering something, but you can't hear what she's saying. And she stands up, tosses her helm at one, two, three, four. All of a sudden, my D4 is hidden. You don't she, need to she tosses it at charity. <laughs> so make me a dex check. Do I have like disadvantage because I'm no. scared? Okay. No, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything, but like, you should now. Keep me honest. It's fine. Uh, that's gonna be God. One was real good. One was real shitty. Um, that's gonna be a seven. She tosses it hard enough that you catch it, but you fall right in your ass, <laughs> and you're like, ooh. Um, she takes her gauntlets off and she slides them into a spot on her belt. The dragon is literally leering like right over the top of her. She takes a knee, takes like one single knee in front of like, like, little, like 10 feet in front of Brylin, but in front of you. So she can like look at almost all of you eye level, including Akko, um, since in charity, since you're both cowering. Um, and she says, it has been a long chase you have led me on. Father will be most happy I have found you. I am one of your elder sisters. <coughs> I'm going to step forward and be like, hey, guys, you see the dragon? Ah, you have seen my friend. I am Kweska. This is Dresk. Wave excitedly. I've seen lots of dragons, so. So, my little pod, have you, are you responsible for this? It was like this when we got here, except oh. for maybe the brain thing. We had to do that. She tips her head slightly and she says, Excellent. You it have was being my really res mean. Respect for the killing of one of the Elithids lapdogs. Tell me, have you come into contact with anything else while aboard the ship? Anything small? Just, just that guy over there. Guy back there. He is not with you? No. He's you. kind of mean. You over here. And he like starts to back up and the dragon leans down and actually with just the faintest bites him by his hood and drops him on the floor. And she turns and looks at him and says, what will we ever do with you, little one? And that's where we'll stop. Oh! <laughs> So if everyone can go around, um, tell people where you can be found, tell people what you're up to. Um, let's start with um, where we started earlier. Nate Doug. All right. Well, you can uh, hear me every uh, Tuesday along with uh, Warrior. Uh, yeah, that's uh, on Twitter at DNDDT podcast or DNDDT.com and uh, wherever you can find your favorite podcast. 
Ms. Joy. Um, I am Shannon Townsend. You can find me on pretty much all of the mediums uh, at Smarky Betch with an E, not an I. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the TikToks, and uh, wherever fine geeks are sold, I guess. Fine geeks are sold. Fine. Uh, you can find me at Warrior MN on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can also uh, check out stats and other fun details from this show and uh, DNDDT featuring the Tasty Boys uh, at DNDDT.com. Uh, usually a few days after an episode uh, pops up. Also, uh, I would be remiss not to plug uh, Extra Life coming up. Uh, November 6th through 8th, um, many, if not all of us, will be streaming for uh, 72 hours this year. Uh, we've got d and we've got Jackbox shenanigans, we've got uh, other cool games. I think there's a uh, Call of Cthulhu game in there. There's some, is it Call of Cthulhu? Um, I, I don't know if the Tremulous game is going to happen. I think it might oh, okay. be Aliens. Uh, tales, from, tales the from the loop tales yeah we got tales from the loop uh there's a cool uh mass effect version of D, &D uh that's coming out uh there's also if i'm to understand correctly going to be a game that will affect this game on there, sunday there, there were a little bits of it dropped into the beginning of this session i thought there might have been uh the uh so um you can uh check all of that out on various um, streaming channels. The schedule will be coming soon, but it will be at twitch.tv uh, slash known, known world united, as well as uh, this very Twitch channel, um, Heels from Radio. Um, so stay tuned um, if you want to uh, donate. Uh, are, we, are we doing uh, game affecting stuff this year? Uh, like a like with like donate fifty menus. bucks. Menus. And... Yeah, I've got to knock my my menu out. Okay. Games, but yeah, they'll be posted. I'll probably cool. send them, I'll probably send them to you, Warrior, to put up on um the website. Sweet. Yeah, they'll uh, so those will be uh, forthcoming. Um, if you would like to donate to me because I'm handsome or whatever, uh, you can uh, find a link in my uh, Twitter bio and Instagram bio starting about fifteen minutes after this ends. Last but not least. Oh, I'm Cassandra. You can find me at my house. Um, that's only if you're stalking me, though. Um, you I'm can like, find me. <laughs> stay tuned for Extra Life, where a bunch of us try to find Cassandra. <laughs> like a where's Waldo. It'll be real fun. It'll be real fun. Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm going to be playing an Extra Life. I have some fabulous headpieces arranged for the majority of my characters. Um, so if you want to make my day, I'm going to make sure my fundraising page is up tonight or tomorrow so every dollar counts um first of all thank you as always to casual doug the casualist of all dogs um or as i refer to him as prime casual doug I mean, that's um you can find me in all the heel attorney stuff um doing heel attorney stuff all the most of the time um including like we just did a watch along last saturday and we are going to be test running something tomorrow um i don't know if it'll be on the twitch or not um but something that we'll be doing later um extra life wise you should donate to anyone and everyone if you have the funds if you don't if you simply will boost the signal that would be tremendous um, I will have a menu of things that you can purchase in game. Um, I will be running the War of Unmaking, which will tie directly to Down and Outlands. Um, everyone playing it will start at 20th level. Um, it'll be two sessions. Um, some of the ripple effects started in this episode, and some of the after effects will continue going forward. Um, as as beard put Ninochka forever and fuji mm -hmm. fiji fu, 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 for life um watching way too much glow on those <laughs> watch alongs um getting way too tied up in those stories 
Um, I'm trying to, th I had something else. My brain is completely shot. I apologize for the kind of um, stop starty episode tonight. Um, I don't like how you say we're going to start at 20th level, Ben. That uh, concerns me a tiny bit. It should. It should concern all of you. Anyone who plays in that game, it should concern them because that generally means I'm going to do some horrible things. Um, yeah, we're just going to go up. It'll be great. <laughs> One I, <can> hope. <laughs> man, I know I have other stuff. I just can't think of it. I apologize um, again for the kind of yo-yo session. You're fine. You're fine. But um, check out Heel Turn stuff. Check out D&DDT. Check out Married Marks. Um, don't check out Cassandra, because that would mean you were looking in our windows. Not cool. <laughs> Not cool. I have all the low curtains pulled all the time. It's fine. So, oh, I remember oh. I was going to say, we will not play down in Outlands in two weeks. Mm. Um, the, the Monday after um, Extra Life, I couldn't even think of the name there for a second. Um, we are going to play Lasers and Feelings. Because I'm sure that, like a lot of other people, I will be burnt pretty bad mm -hmm. from just the entire weekend, which is good. It's a good feeling. Um, but I want to play something very low thinky and big and fun. So I'm also opening it up to pretty much anyone who wants to play since it's so easy. Um, it's a one page game that's basically kind of like Star Trek. Um, and you only have two stats you have lasers. And you have feelings. So hopefully it'll be fun. I'm sure it'll be weird. Uh, also on the, I hope everyone enjoyed Star Wars. We enjoyed putting it together. Um, Doug, um, Shannon, I would be remiss to, if I didn't mention Mark who killed it. And of course, the John Maddening. Um, just to let you know, another uh, mini series will be coming soon. Um, I don't have a name for it yet, but we will be playing uh, Monster Hearts. So, yeah, hopefully it'll also be really good. Um, the players are already awesome, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, which is what I'm doing right now. So, Doug, take us out. Bye! <laughs>